Welcome to the Modular Page Creation Tutorial. This theme allows you to create modular full-screen pages containing much more content, like artists, podcasts, releases, events, gallery, sliders, and your latest posts. To create a modular page, you need to have three types of content. The first type of content is a page itself. The second type of content is a module and the third type of content is the content itself. In order to separate the visual and content aspect of a modular page, this theme uses a three-level modular style of content. You can add inside of a modular page only the contents that are in a module content type. A module itself is like a box that can contain whatever kind of content. First of all, let's create a new modular page. To create a new modular page, under Pages click Add New and insert a title. Demo page. After choosing a title, we need to choose modular page and save or save a draft. After saving with this template, you will see appearing page settings and modules. Page settings are needed to set a background video, choose if you want the audio of the video, and choose to hide or show the footer of this page. If you publish the page like this, it is going to be empty. At this point, what we need are modules. You cannot, in any way, add directly sliders, galleries or whatever kind of content to a modular page. In order to add contents to a modular page, you need first to create a module which defines which kind of content must contain. To create a module, let's click Add New. This is our first module and we will call it First Module. Each module can be one in ten different type of module. Caption, content, gallery, revolution slider, simple slider, events map, release carousel, podcast carousel, artist, and news. Let's see all these different type of modules. A full screen caption is a module that allows you to insert some content here. It's defined by the characteristic that the content is going to be vertically centered. If you need to put longer content, like an HTML page or whatever custom content, you must choose Content Section. Content Section is a module that allows you to create a normal page inside of a non modular page. To insert a gallery inside of a modular page, you need to choose Gallery. While choosing Gallery, you will be able to choose one of the previously created galleries that you have inside of the Galleries post type. If you choose a Revolution Slider, you can insert the Revolution Slider ID here. If you choose Simple Slider, you can choose the slider that you previously created inside of the Simple Slider. If you want an Events Map, 
you just need to select the number of events that you want inside of the map. The same thing is for the releases, for the podcast and for the artist. While the news have a fixed number of three elements. Let's create our first module as a gallery. So let's select main gallery. Let's publish the module and let's get back to our full screen page. After refreshing the page, the module is going to be available. In this field, you will see all the modules previously created as modules post type. So first, you need to create the modules and after, you are able to create a modular page. Let's choose first module. Each module can be used in as many modular pages as you want. In this way, you are able to edit the design settings of a page without compromising the module content. Very important to choose a title for this module, like Gallery. Then we can choose a menu icon. If you want dark or light, and which picture you want as background for your module. Let's set, for example, this picture from Flickr. Then you can choose to have an overlay other or a background color. To have a background color, you must input the hex color code. And you can choose a percentage of opacity of the background color. These other options allows you to have the header bar opaque when you are visiting this specific module. You can choose to hide the title of the module or you can choose to hide entirely this module if you want, for example, to disable it temporarily. After updating this page, we can view it and we will have our gallery appearing. As you can see, its module is going to appear in the left sidebar menu with the title that you decide in this phase. If you don't want a gallery, but you want, for example, a caption, we can choose a caption module that we previously created as module in the modules post type, like this module that you can have if you import the demo content. A caption is vertically centered, and this contains, for example, the logo. Let's choose FS Caption. We update and update this page. This is our caption. If you don't want the title to appear in a module, simply check Hide Title. and the title is gone. If you want to header a header bar which is opaque for this module, this is possible by checking the opaque header bar. If you want to add another module, simply click the plus button and choose the module that you want to add. 
for example, a news module. The news module is going to appear here. What we need to do in order to have our module displaying properly is to have a title, choose an icon, and the image, which is going to be automatically copied by the first module, can be removed or can be changed. Each module can have its own background or be transparent. If you want to have a YouTube background, you just have to use a YouTube URL of a video. Allow a transparent background in the modules where you want to see the video underneath. Then update. And the video is going to appear underneath. You can also have an overlay pattern, change the title of the module in home and change another icon like house without need to customize the original module of the caption. In this way, the setting of the caption are going to be the same in each page where you are going to use it. So you can have unlimited number of one page without need to create an unlimited number of modules. You can recycle the same modules in order to create one pages with different settings and each one can have its own personal design style. After updating, Our new page will have the new icon and the new title. So, to create a modular page, first create a page with a modular page template. Then, you need to create a module for each module that you want to create. Modules can contain one of these 10 type of content, caption, content section, gallery, revolution slider, simple slider, event map, release carousel, podcast carousel, artist carousel, or news. After creating a module, refreshing the page that you previously created, the module is going to be available in the module section. To add new modules, you just need to click on the plus button. To delete a module, click on the minus button. And to order your modules, just drag this icon and you can revert the order of the modules. In order to have the audio of your YouTube video, just enable it. While enabling the audio of a video, if you have the auto play on, it is going to be off automatically and the track is not going to play in this page.
the volume control is going to affect both the video and music player volume. If you have some volume on the YouTube video, when you are going to play the track, the YouTube music is going to disappear. So this is perfectly an integrated player to play both contents. Thank you for watching.